What's good, everybody? It's your man Vic, and I am back with another video. Now, for all your Pokemon Go account needs, make sure you check out PokemonGoForSale.com backslash BigVic5N for 20% off. Discount code BigVic5N for 20% off. Real quick, all right? We got a 30% discount going on right now. Enjoy it. I've been going live yesterday, so 24 hours will be ending soon. Okay, this is where I come to get all my accounts. I have, I have my level 40 from here. All right, I have a Discord link in the description for myself as well as them. So if you have any issues, you can go ahead and shoot a DM and get it resolved. Okay, email exchangeable, uh, password exchangeable, the whole nine yards. Come here, find what you need, or browse or whatever it may be. You can even click on it and uh, view what kind of accounts you're going to be getting your, getting your hands on. Okay, so the price right there. Now, if you look down, these are screenshots of all what all it all entails. So you know what you're getting when you buy the account. Okay. Buy now. Okay. Apply coupon. Big big five BN 20% off. You should be getting 2796. I know because I haven't done it before. Alright. Hopefully I can get my young bucks to go to sleep today so I can live stream and do a giveaway during nap time. I normally that off work on Tuesdays, but hey, it may just happen this time, so shout out to them. Alright, so Without further ado, let's get right on into it now. Disclaimer real quick. If you have Android 9 on your device, you get either, either they're going to need the Flash or Root. Samsung Galaxy S9, S10s, and Note 9s. I know for a fact you can't root on those Samsung new, new devices from being rooted in the U.S. Internationally, yes, but the rest of them... Okay. All right. So if you have any questions about, it, I do have a video related on how to flash your phone. I did flash this one recently. Android 9 back to Android 8, just so I can spoof on it. I'll leave that tied to the end of the video, so you guys can go ahead and grab that if you need it. Now, first things first. Besides that, what I want you to do to know if you can spoof or not. Anyway, you check two things right away. Okay. The first thing. All right. Go to About Phone and your settings, software information. At the very bottom. Check your security patch. Now, chances are if you got a May, June, July 2019 security patch, you're not going to be able to spoof even if you flash. You might be able to do it if you root it, but even if you flash, no. Now, if you get an unlocked phone, it's possible. You're good to go. Don't worry about it. If you get your phone unlocked, then that, that'll make it easier because you have access to more software. Now, if you're not unlocked, then you're screwed. So it varies, okay? All right, so again, my security patch is July 1st, 2018. Let's get right on into it. First thing I want you to do, we're already in settings, the very top, device admin apps, okay? Now you might have Find My Device that you can see on the screen, you might have Google Pay, you want both of those deactivated, so you want to check that, either one of you have both of them, uncheck them both, okay? Come back, go to apps, go down to Google Play Services. Now, for Google Play Services, the minimum I believe because I have it on my phone is 12.5.29. That's the minimum requirement. 12.5.29. Some people have 12.2.21, but it doesn't run this move. So 12.5.29 is the minimum requirement, okay? Now, the maximum is 12.5.88, okay? Some people have 8.9 and it very rarely works with 8.9. That's why I'm about to tell people 8.9 works because it's very rare. Shout out to Very Rare Gaming, by the way. Make sure you go follow him. Give him a like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. All the, all the spook tubers out here. It's a big community, even though I don't talk with everybody every day. We all community. Shout out to all of them. Okay. All right, so at the very bottom, you see mine, 12.5.29. That's your version. That's your Google Play services currently. That's the version of You don't need that. The first set of numbers in parentheses right there. If you look right there. Kind of small, right there. Hold on a second. Give me a second here. Let's so pull that up for you bigger. Um, look right there. It's kind of covered up. I guess that ain't gonna work either. Huh? My bad. My bad. I apologize. Be back. But anyway, yeah. The first set of numbers zero four zero four zero zero. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the numbers you need, not the ones behind the purchase, not the ones behind the dash for the first set, okay? So what we're going to do right away, go to Google Play Services, 
Okay, now 12.6.85 don't work. Go to 12.6.87. The 12.6.87 don't work. Go to 12.6.88. Now they all work, but every now and then you might get unable to authenticate. It's all right. Just change and place service. It, it loads you right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to 88. Just for example, I'm still gonna keep mine 12.5.29 is what I'm using. So I'm keep it that way. If you can get that low, so everybody might not be able to get that low. Now, come down, find your numbers. Mine was 040400. Found it right here. Okay. Right there. Look on the screen. That's my number right there. Now, right next to that, this number is important for your GPS joystick. So, right here, this number right here, go ahead and copy that number too because you're going to need that number as well. Right there. So, go ahead and click that, click on that. Close that ad out right, right there. Now you can go ahead and download the APK. Number at this point, at this point, you would download the APK. All right, as it's downloading, you go back up. Like I said, there's another number here. Yeah, download the APK, install it. This other number right here, go ahead and copy that. Now, the next part here, install a GPS joystick. Okay. I'll leave other links in the description for other videos because you have other questions because some people have the questions like app not installed or something like that. Those videos will be in the description so you guys can go ahead and watch those. I don't want to drag the video out trying to show you all these different things and the different things that happen. So I'm going to keep them moving and put those in the description. Now, this is the GPS joystick website. Okay, unlock features right there. Scroll down. And as you can see right here, device detected unknown. Click right here, device detected unknown, right? If you get that, remember that number I just told you to go ahead and get? Now, I know because I, I got the number already. This is my number right here, the very top one. The RM64, whatever. Let me see if I still got that on the screen there. I don't, but that's, that's, I know that's the number for sure, so I'm going to go ahead and install this one right here, the top one. If you got an S9 or an S, if you got an S9 or an S8, S8, you're going to install that one. Note 9, same thing. That's, that's the one that works. Install it. I haven't installed, so I'm not gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. And move right on to the next step. Now, do I have Pogo on here? I got Pogo on here. All right, now come here, to GPS joystick. By the way, I need some gifts. What's up, y'all? Okay, I'm on my level 40 account. I'm gonna leave my trainer code in. If they ban it, they ban it. I don't even care. I'm gonna leave it in there for y'all. Go ahead and add me. All right, so now we here. All right, we go ahead and go to settings. Top left settings. Okay. Pay attention. I'm going to leave it on for screenshots off so you guys, you guys can see. So display distance info. All right. Let me slow down right here because I always get this question and it irritates the shit out of me, to be honest with you. Give me a second. All right. So you're going to get it. Fail to detect location. Everybody gets it. Okay. You might get the red bar across the top of the screen. Everybody gets it. That's why this next part is important. For Android 7 and Android 8, okay, you're going to use the regular mocking method, okay? For Android 6, you're going to use indirect experimental mocking. This is indirect right here. This is what you use to be Android 6. Anybody else more than Android 6? These settings will work for you. Okay, so this, this is display. This is info. Shows how long you travel from one place to another, like, like a cool down timer, kind of, sort of. Uh, from one place to another. It doesn't show how long you've been playing, but it shows how long you jump. Enable suspended mocking. I use that. Enable auto suspend location. I use that. Now, auto suspend interval. Interval. I got to set at 30 seconds. I bring it down to 15. Now, it pops up on your screen. A box pops up on your screen from time to time. Okay. It's normal. It happens. It's supposed to. It's mocking your location. That way they don't know that you're that you're spoofing. Keeps you in that location. That's just an easy little way to explain it because people want to ask and I don't want to go through all that. I'm gonna put my time in 15 seconds. It pops up every it's gonna pop up every 15 seconds, but they keep also keep the red area off your screen. Okay. Come down to the bottom a little further. Auto start joystick. You got that, boom. These are all your joystick walking speeds, etc. A little further. All right. Now this is where I come in at set locations. Where I go, I open the map up and I put where I want to go. I take with the other pair 39. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in there.
Select. All right, and again, again, if your security patch is screwed up, whatever, it was not not fire. This phone was on March, March of security patch. I flashed it back. It was on March 2019. I flashed it back to July 2018. It's not that hard to do. You just got to put the time and work in. Feel free to join my Discord and ask questions. I got some people here who've done it recently. They know it does work. You can back up your data and get all your data back. No biggie. No biggie at all, in all honesty. All right, so I'm going to wait for that ad to finish loading. The joystick should pop up. You should be ready to go. Boom, done deal. All right, go ahead, fire up Pogo. We in here. I don't know if this is updated or not. That is a little loud. Let me turn that down some. I'm sorry. Turn it down a little bit to make sure you guys can hear me. Mm. This music is loud. Boy. Get that music out the way. I don't want nobody tripping on the music on sound effects. All right, get that out the way. Currently, he's actually currently going going to the location as you can see, going to where he's supposed to go. Still working on it. Still working on getting them there. He's moving a little. It's going a little slower than I like it to go. But he should be there. It's traveling. As you can see, it's traveling. Normally, I wait for it to load up, but he's going. It's all good. It's up now. While that's loading, it's taking a lot longer than it's supposed to be taking. Okay, there we go. We there now. Moving fast. Give it a second to load up. Don't leave the question to ask. It takes, it takes the time sometimes to load up. Actually, man, I think it's actually working on something. Things have been a little slower than they're supposed to be. But that's all right. Give them a little run. It's, my people say, that's lagging. It was, yeah, stop with the lagging. It's just it's mocking where you got to be. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw a Pokeball out there because I got my time set for every 15 seconds. So every 15, that string is going to pop up. I'm going to throw a Pokeball out this uh, rear end right here. Hit it right in the head. Not bad. Let's see if I got him. Now the the the, uh, the icons over there. Go ahead and hit him on a berry. I'm already stuck here at this location now anyway, so I'm hit him on a berry. Now he should be he should be caught. Now uh the icons on the left hand side. I'm gonna explain them to you. The top right, the top, at the very top left. Okay, this is why, this is why I said you need to have on the auto fix in, interval because it's it's important. Why is it important? Because it refreshes your location as, as a button. So the very top left, the very top one at the very top left, that hides and reappears all the other icons below it. The one right below that, because people are going to ask, where's auto fix? The one right below that is the auto fix button, okay? That'll ref refresh your location. That'll keep the red, red arrow off your screen. If you wonder why I don't have the red arrow on my screen, it's because I'm using that. So, yes, no, there's no red arrow on my screen right now, as you can see, okay? Which is good. All right. The button right below that brings up the map. Now, if you look at the teleport, say I'm right here. I don't want to go back go back to the other thing. You want to teleport. Okay, you can click over here. Click, teleport to the location at the very bottom. Close that out. And move the teleport me right to where I need to be at. Okay, remember I was over there before? I'm over here now. Go ahead and teleport myself back just to show you it works. Let me see, where am I going here? We're going right here by the chart house. Come on. I was a little off, I guess, but that's all right. Let's see. No far back. He'll run the rest of the way, I guess. Once once it mocks, he'll run where he got to go. All right, boom, done deal. He there, okay? Go ahead and hit a pokey stop or two. Get that pokey stop for you, let you know it's real. Boom, one. All right, now right under that. Under the map, you can go ahead and come in here and post your stuff, post your coordinates, and then hit teleport to where you want to go. Now, uh, let's see here. Coordinates. You can post them right there, hit teleport, and then that will take you where you need to go next. 
Okay? There is also the teleport back button, which is very nice. You go back and forth between things and you want to do that. It's like I said, you want to go somewhere and catch something, but then you want to be soft band and you jump one place to another just to look. You can do that. Right below that is a hard. You can add to favorites. You can add to route to your current location. Click that. I have two routes saved as you receive. Run route and whatever. Click on one of those. I was trying to walk some eggs. I mean, yeah, we'll go ahead and open this up. I'll go ahead and show you how to open walk routes in here in case you're wondering. Now, walking the routes. You're here. You're here. But if blue dots you, you say you would top left, you click set route. Okay? Click somewhere else on the screen. That sets a route for you. Go there. That's a route. You can either save that route or you can load another route. Or you can just click start route. And you'll start walking or running every time it mocks. So it's not messed up. It has to wait till it mocks for him to run. Or walk, whatever case is. You know what I mean. So it's mocking right now. He'll move forward. Well, he's supposed to move forward. Let me make sure. Oh, I'll sit on. Sit on walk. My bad. Open it back up real quick. He should have moved. There we go. Uh oh, I didn't know I paused it. My bad. Here's what I did. I load. I load it right up. That's what I do. That's easier. Start that. I don't know what I did right there. But now he's picking up where he got to go. My, my bad. All right, but right below that, you can share your location, share, share whatever you want to share right there. Below that, hides everything. Hides the joystick, I should say. Below that, locks your location. You don't want to do that. And then below that is walk, jog, and run. The top right over there is a the joystick in case you're wondering. Other than that, that's it. Again, announcement made it this part in the video. And I, you know, five. Level 40 account giveaway giveaways when I hit 20k. Five level 40 account giveaways when I hit 20k. Like, comment, and be subscribed. Again, five level 40 account giveaways when I hit 20k. It's your man, Big Vic. I am doing a giveaway this Friday. Okay, Pokemon Go account. Two of them this Friday. The word is giveaway. Like, comment, and be subscribed. I'm, I love doing giveaways. I love hearing feedback from y'all. As long as y'all watching the videos, I know y'all interested. If you're not watching, I know you don't want nothing to do with it. So... I do not only do this for me, but I do this for y'all. I love the interaction. Feel free to join Discord. It'll be in the description. It's your man, Vic, and I'm out.